That Davis ever became an art department was, is, was a bloody miracle, to say the least. Richard Nelson was amazing. He hired all these people, Wiley, and, and then eventually to Forrest, and Arneson, and Tebow, and put together a department in the middle of nowhere, 80 miles from San Francisco. And this was a guy, he looked like your grandfather, you know, but he put together this department. It's incredible to get those people together. Uh, an incredible guy. And so I, I went to the first day of Arneson's class and there was me and 60 co-eds wanting to take the class. And he says, well, all I, all I can do is take art majors or minors. And so I said, oh, I am an art minor, <laughs> which was bloody, a total lie. Arneson just let us do anything he won. We were still using stoneware. But then one summer I went back to visit my parents in Puerto Rico and uh, and I came back, they had whiteware, the low fire white earthenware. And Arneson was making a toilet out of it. And uh, that was kind of amazing. Peter Vandenberg was there and we were making our own glazes using uranium oxide and, and other deadly chemicals. I was Bob's assistant this whole time. Had to do all the firing and clay making and cleaning and and all that stuff. At one point I was Manuel Neri's assistant and I was taking classes from Wiley and Bruce Nauman was there uh, doing as a student doing stuff. It was a pretty neat place but it was really this this balance between the really hot people like Arneson and myself and then Roy DeForest and then the cool people like Wiley and Nauman and Bill Allen. That's when Adeliza discovered us. As she always said, she, someone told her this stuff was going on at Davis and that she should come look at it or she should look at Arneson's stuff. She already had Marcus because he's really the first one who was showing there before we, any of us were. She loved to go to San Francisco and see stuff. She went to the Judy Chicago show. She got a terrible headache just throbbing headache when she saw the work, but when she went to see the H.C. Westermans, it went away right away. That was one of her favorite museum stories. People didn't consider anything we did as art in the 60s. Uh, there was just no acceptance, because funk was the lowest of the low. It's something being washed down a gutter, you know, like barf or, or uh, crumbled cigarette packs washing down the gutter. And we use that imagery. I mean, certainly frogs and bricks. You know, I have people, you call that art? I mean, Arneson would be attacked because he went around the, the country more. And, you know, he had nuns attack him once in Wisconsin for what he was doing. I had nuns attack me at one point, too. That's because I had Jesus uh, trying to convert a frog and, you know, things like that. A real human Jesus. You know, I didn't even at that time make Jesus a frog yet. I was still scared. Uh, eventually I overcame that.